Good morning, YouTube. This is the third episode of Shredding for the Wedding. And uh, I'll tell you guys where I am sitting at now for my calorie and macronutrient profile. I'm at 1,710 calories, of which I am trying to obtain 105 grams of protein, 210 grams of carbohydrates, and 50 grams of fat. Uh, let's see, what else did I want to go over? I mentioned this in other videos, but I am eating vegan with a little bit of failure. Um, this is why it's hard for me. I like the taste of meat. I mean, I'm still trying to obtain this vegan lifestyle. It is something that I feel I want to be like 110% into, but uh, yeah, it, it is hard for me. So still working that way, um, but I wanted to be transparent with you guys and let you know that you know it is not without failure for me. Anyways, point of that was, is because of this vegan eating, I lowered my protein because I was sitting at like 180 grams of protein and 180 grams of carbs, which is very, very high protein for me. Like I'm only 120 pounds, so 180 grams of protein to me was like extra insurance that I was like getting that protein. Um, but after, uh, Eating, eating a primarily vegan diet, I realized that uh, that that carb to protein ratio was really, really hard to obtain because when you're trying to obtain protein from vegan foods, you're obtaining them from plant foods, very fibrous, uh, high in carbohydrate plant foods. Like, you know, for example, beans and lentils and even broccoli has got, you know, higher carbs than it does protein. It's, it's, it's hard unless you're buying like tofu or some synthetic soy product to get a protein source that's not higher in carbs. So I tweaked my protein a little bit and upped my carbs, basically lowered protein, upped carbs, kind of, kind of traded those. And um, I really enjoy it. I haven't noticed any muscle loss. I have great energy. I think the protein might've been slowing me down a little bit. And I've also been making some awesome PRs. I squatted 205 the other day, which is like 20 pounds more than I've ever squatted. Granted, it was for two reps, but I the squat was really nice and deep and really smooth coming up. So really, really enjoying the vegan lifestyle. Otherwise, let's get on. That was just like a whole other speech. Um, let's go ahead and show you guys what my workout schedule is planned for. Uh, this month because we're going into February so uh, we'll go ahead and go over to there and then it's finally warming up in my house I had to turn on the heat it's freezing in here so uh, I wanted to do that physique update but I was gonna like let the house warm up okay <clears throat> so I'm sitting here with my calendar dun, 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 dun. today is February 1st right now we are 14 weeks out so we'll be doing three days a week of cardio until we get to 10 weeks, if everything goes right. <laughs> uh, just because, you know, if I start feeling like maybe I want to be shredding a little bit more and I don't want to give up any of my calories, I might switch to four days a week a little sooner. Once I get to 12 weeks, I am going to replace one of my cardio sessions with a HIIT workout. And I am hoping that Tyler will actually train me through this. And I don't think that'll be too hard to convince him to do. So that is my plan for this month. This week, uh, we are starting with chest today. We'll go to legs, back, arms and abs. And then I'm going to hit legs again on Friday uh, just to even things out. Uh, it's always kind of a reoccurring thing with me that I feel like my hamstrings are not as developed as my quads. So hitting legs twice just to just just to fucking do it. And uh yeah. Baby, even though I hate so I wanna love ya. Even though I can't forgive ya, I really want so
Tyler. <laughs> Kara, that's not Tyler. <laughs> so I am on my way to get some food and then Kara and I are going to the gym. Gonna go to the gym. Kara's boyfriend is a trainer at the same gym that Tyler is a trainer at. So we hang out. Yeah. <laughs> We're pals. <laughs> We're pals. <laughs> So we're gonna go grab something to eat because um, I was planning on doing chest today, but uh, Kara suggested legs and I should probably never turn legs down. So uh, that's the plan is to do legs and uh, get some food. All right guys, it's time to do the bioelectric impedance calculator. Gonna see what my body fat is at. Again, uh, this is I only just did this a week ago, so it probably won't be much different. Um, but we're just doing it every Monday to see uh, how it goes down. Still at 17%. Same Z's. Our first exercise today was squats and we decided to pyramid set these. Uh, but not like your regular pyramid set. We didn't uh, decrease our weight as we moved up. We just stayed with 15 reps. But um, while we were doing these, I uh, decided to use a belt. I usually will use a belt once I get above uh, plates on each side. And this was actually one of the first few times that Kara's used the belt. She's used it a couple of times before. And I was showing her a breathing technique that I do that Tyler actually showed me. And I thought it would be really fun to go over it during uh, this video because it can be really, really helpful uh, when using a belt to squat. So what I do is kind of a breathing technique, um, and I use this clip because you can really see how I'm breathing. But I'll take a breath in at the top, so I'll let you go ahead and see me take this breath in. So right about there. And then when I go down, I don't breathe out when I hit the bottom. So I'll go again. I actually create a pressure uh, with my stomach against the belt and it really gives me a lot of stability and it really helps me focus on my my hamstrings and my glutes and just push all the way through it's amazing the difference and Kara even loved the difference too so I thought that would be really fun to show to anybody who's trying to improve their squat or who uses a belt but has not heard of or tried to use this technique before Tired. moving on to the next exercise which was actually a superset we did these uh, leg lifts, which you want to make sure that your thighs are on the bench for. I had started with my thighs off the bench, and it really hits your hamstrings more when your thighs are on the bench. So if you want to try these out, just make sure that you do that. Um, but what we superseted these with are box jumps. And I just wanted to point out something that Tyler actually taught me to save my knees, and that's to try and land on the box softly. So I'll be quiet for a second, because... You can't really hear me landing on the box. And that's because I'm just trying to land on the box with uh, my whole foot, even more, a little bit more focus on my heels, and it's really controlling that jump and working those muscles. And I really like it. I didn't really understand at first why I had to land softly, but now I see why, and um, I feel like it's really improved my box jumps. <laughs> this is actually another super set. I was just trying to get some cardio in here. Um, just, uh, I mean, pretty self-explanatory what we're doing here. I love how Kara's like smiling the whole way through. Look at her. <laughs> uh, this is, we super setted these with uh, more leg raises. We had tried to do a hamstring curl, like a lying down hamstring curl, but. Um, my hips were really, really bugging me. Um, they've been bugging me for a long time, but uh, just recently, since I've been doing cardio three times a week, uh, just my hips been kind of aggravated with all the running and doing legs right now. Probably wasn't the best idea, but what can you do, you know? So these were a little bit more effective. All right. It's Tuesday morning and I am just getting ready to have a cup of coffee and edit this video. <clears throat> so I noticed before I started editing that I hadn't uh, gone over like my weight or anything like that. 
Um, so yesterday I hit 121, which is good because um, for what I was scheduled for, I was scheduled like for the calorie intake that I'm taking, I'm aiming for uh, losing one pound per week. Uh, actually, I think it was one and a half. So I think, so I surpassed that a little bit. Still not doing anything with my macros. We'll catch up uh, next week on Tuesday and see if there's anything that I want to change. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe if you want to be updated weekly about my shredding to the wedding. Uh, that was episode three, so we'll be moving on to episode four. And uh, like my video. Piece of shit rock. <laughs> I'm videotaping you, so you have to say yes. What? Coming up, like, not next week, but the week week after. Will you start doing one hit session with me per week, like training me? Just uh, one a week. Yeah. Think you promise that you'll do it? Shredding for the wedding. Don't you want me to look sexy? Yeah. <laughs>